We all know album covers can be a pretty big factor in your overall enjoyment of an album. If you saw my last video, I went over some bad covers that ruin otherwise great albums. But what about when an album's bad? Can a good album cover save it? Or is it better to have a bad cover so you're not disappointed? Once again, I took to Instagram to ask you guys and you answered. Let us begin. Significant Other by Limp Biscuit. Oh God, that last Limp Biscuit album cover was probably the worst thing I've ever seen. What do their good covers look like? Oh, this one's pretty sick. Looks like some street graffiti. <laughs> the colors are super nice. And they somehow made the name Limp Biscuit look cool. I don't know about the Significant Other font though. I don't know what that font is, but I feel like it was all over new metal albums at the time. And the parental advisory sticker, kind of interesting placement. Honestly, a kind of sick cover. The only thing is I kind of expect it to be like an underground rap album from seeing this cover. So, I mean, if I saw this cover at a record store, didn't know who Limp Bizkit was and went home like, damn, can't wait to listen to this new underground rap album I got. And then this comes on. <laughs> I'd be a little sad, but is this one so good that it saves the album? I don't think so. Metallica, Saint Anger. Oh, this cover is sick. I have heard this album and I'm not a fan, but I'm not really a big fan of Metallica anyway. So I, I don't know if their fans like this album or not, but to me, it's one of their weakest. Also seeing this, I kind of envision more of a like Black Flag sound. Does Black Flag have an album cover that looks like this? Future me, if you found what I'm thinking about, put it right here. But yeah, it just kind of evokes more of a punk feeling, and I feel like it just doesn't really fit Metallica's aesthetic. Man, this one is just a shame. So would I say it saves the album? No, but it's really disappointing. The Big Day by Chance the Terrible Rapper. Was the terrible part really needed? Yeah, this whole album is kind of insane. It's really one for the history books. This was a pretty hyped album when it was coming out. And for Chance to deliver such a huge pile of garbage, it's historical. Probably one of the greatest fall-offs in modern music. Dude met Kanye West and he still failed. Also, I just realized that the album cover I have saved here has Anthony Fantano in the background. I didn't even notice. This one's just sad. I honestly don't really know what it means. With him holding this like clear CD in his hand. I've never really been able to decipher what it is. I, I don't know if I'm dumb, but it just looks to me like a bedazzled CD. If I'm dumb and it's obviously not that, I'm sorry. But it looks like a bedazzled CD. This cover has that vibe that like it could either be a classic or it could be a Logic album, but it ended up being one of the worst modern rap albums. Woo! Good job. Does this one save the album? I don't think it's possible to save this album. Okay, this one's crazy. Our Angels by Grimes. Love her stuff, but that album's ass. They got the Grimes profile picture too, which would make me think you're a pretty big fan of her music. How do you not like Art Angels? Look, I'll be clear. I do not like current Grimes. She's a weirdo and it's almost to the point where I can't listen to her music anymore. Just because ever since the Elon era, she's kind of annoyed me, but this is such a good album. Like I agree that this cover is insane. Probably my favorite cover of hers, but this is a great album. I feel like I'd agree if you mentioned any of her newer stuff because it hasn't been amazing, but really? Our angels? I gotta have a talk with you. Hey, look, I know music's subjective, but how can you hear this? <sighs> and, and then see this and think, damn, I love the cover, but this shit kind of ass. Does this album cover save the album? No, it doesn't need saving. It's good. <laughs> Ugly is Beautiful by Oliver Tree. Did you guys understand the question? Look, I don't like this album and I don't hate the cover, but this is like the last thing I'd ever expect someone to consider a good cover. The album's already so in your face and borderline annoying that I feel like if I found myself enjoying a song on this album and I saw the cover, it would just remind me like, oh yeah, this is that guy's annoying persona. I don't hate Oliver Tree or anything and I don't know if he still does the fake character, but it's just always kind of annoyed me. And I know that was kind of the point, but it's just really steered me off his music after a while. So honestly, I, I kind of feel like this one's the opposite for me because there's a good amount of stuff on that album that I enjoy. But if I'm listening and then I see this, I'd be like, oh yeah, this is a... Uh this is Oliver Tree. Does this album cover save the album? No, I, I think it does the opposite. 
Songs of Innocence by U2. Has anyone purposefully listened to U2 in their life? They're such a forgettable band that I feel like any cover that's actually memorable will already be better than their album. This is the cover? Is this good? You just hugging another dude shirtless. What, what's this supposed to mean? Always hug your homie shirtless. No, but really, I mean, it's okay. I don't entirely know what the meaning of it is. I'm assuming with the name Songs of Innocence, it's like this other guy seems younger than him and it's like he's, he's holding on to innocence. It's all right. It feels like something I'd see in an art museum, in a photographer's exhibition. I don't know why he's hugging specifically there. Like, it almost looks like this person's pregnant or something, and he's, he's trying to hear the baby. Not that the person looks pregnant. I'm pretty sure it's a dude. But I just feel like that's the only time people are really in that position. I don't know. I mean, the cover's fine. A little lackluster to me, personally. But I guess that goes along with the band, so it's not misleading. Does this album cover save the album? No. We always got one of these guys, don't we? In the last video for bad album covers, we had most Drake albums. And now for good album covers, we got most Logic albums. You know, I kinda agree with you here. His album covers are pretty good, but I feel like I've been conditioned to kinda know his art style and know it's a Logic album. I like the Everybody cover. Definitely feels like a classic cover. The Bobby Tarantino ones are okay, though they do kinda scream corny rapper. To me, at least. I kinda hate YSIV. IS4? YS... I don't know. He looks like Anthony Fantano in it though and it's just kind of unsettling and then stuff like confessions of a dangerous mind that cover with the title it just screams an album that someone would listen to and be like I listen to conscious rap all you guys listening to rappers that just talk about drugs money and hoes logic gives us deep thought-provoking messages or as you could say confessions from his dangerous mind I don't know if I like the vibe of his covers I don't even really dislike logic I've just never really been into his stuff but I don't know other than everybody in my opinion, a lot of them are kind of mid. So do Logic's album covers save the albums? No, they don't. Scaled and Icy by 21 Pilots. I'm kind of mad at how good this looks. I'm not a 21 Pilots fan, never have been, don't think I will be, but this is honestly a cover that would single-handedly get me to listen to this album. It's got that like hand-drawn or maybe water-painted aesthetic to it. I don't know what the pitchfork in the top is. Is, is that their logo? But yeah, kind of sick. It kind of reminds me of like the old How to Train Your Dragons books. Like every time they'd introduce a new dragon, there'd be a page with like a sick drawing of it and all its stats and everything about it. I honestly read the book just to get to those parts, but this reminds me of those drawings and I really like it. Does this album cover save the album? I'm probably gonna check it out after this, so I think it does. Ratitude by Weezer. You know, I think this album cover gets a lot of hate. We got this dog absolutely leaping in this old living room. I don't even know how you get in a jumping position like that. He's like cannonballed up. Honestly, if you got rid of the Weezer part, it just said Ratitude and it was some like Tony Hawk pro skater punk music. It'd be awesome. But when you have an album cover like this and then the music sounds like this. <laughs> It somehow makes the album cover worse. Though I will say, I think if this album had a less memorable album cover, less people would care about how bad the album is. So, I mean, does this album cover save the album? I think it might. Last one, Corey Feldman's Angelic to the Core. This one is an all-time classic. If you haven't heard this album, you have to listen to it. It's remarkably bad, and the cover is insane. Honestly, in the last video when I covered the Texas Jerusalem Crossroads, that cover gave me the same vibe as this one, but the thing is, I think that one's kind of ironic, and this one is not. It features this iconic shot of Corey Feldman being dragged out of hell by these two angels. <laughs> all the smoke and lava behind him. I think this one, like CLB, needs to go in an album cover museum. It's just the definition of so bad that it's good. But is this amazing cover good enough to save the album? No, uh, I don't know if that's possible. All right, enough. That's all the ones I got for today. If you guys got any more suggestions, I'm definitely gonna be doing a part two and a part two to the other album video. Thank you so much for watching. The channel's been doing really well lately. Might look like small numbers to you, but they're big to me. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like, and if you really liked it, hit the subscribe button. It really helps. Bye.